Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so this is all about learning to deal with liars. You know, there's two types of liars. There's people who lie to you and there's people who lie about you. The people who lie to you, you know, this is a great opportunity. I hate to say that, but it, it's, it's a very good opportunity to be able to strengthen our intuition, to be able to learn to trust how we feel. You know, everybody is a human lie detector. Whether you know it or not, every single person has a sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth sense that can detect whether or not something feels off or something doesn't feel, you know, right with whatever it is, whatever's playing out. I think people who lie to you, it could be the smallest lie. It could be the biggest lie. They could be trying to cover something up or they could just be trying to tell a lie just to make themselves feel emotionally fulfilled. There's so many different reasons why somebody may have to lie. But for me, you know, in my past, I was one of the biggest liars. And the reason why I was a liar, constantly lying about my life and what I was doing, the things that I was interested in, was because I was living a life of a lie. I was going down a path of self-destruction and I knew it wasn't good for me. I knew it wasn't healthy, but I couldn't change it. I, I, I didn't want to change it. Therefore, when someone would ask me about my life or ask me the direction I was going to in or just whatever it may have been, I lied because what, the path that I was going down, I knew wasn't right for me, but I had to protect that. Because that is just how I saw myself at that given time. So when somebody is lying to you, if you feel like somebody is lying, your intuition is going off. Your, your, you know, your lying radar, hey, liar, 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 liar. <laughs> if, if your body is telling you that, we need to own it. We need to really tune in to why we think somebody may be lying to us. We don't need to, you know, to confront the person right away, but maybe take a, a back step, maybe two or three or four, or maybe isolate or just kind of pull back from this person and, and, and figure out why you're trying to get this, you know, why you're starting to get this vibe. And sooner or later, if we really start to tune into that, we can really start to figure out why someone may be lying to us. And sooner or later, we can start to build this strength to be able to confront this person. But we have to prepare that that person if they're lying to you, they're going to continue to lie to you, you know? So we may not always get the truth, but the truth is inside of you. If you believe somebody is lying, trust your intuition, ride with it, live by it, stand on it. Don't, don't let anybody break it because when you begin to trust your intuition, whether you think somebody may be lying to you or not, the truth will come out. The truth will come out. The universe will expose that other person. Nobody can live a life of a lie. It's impossible. Nobody can live a life of a lie. As sooner or later, the truth will be exposed. All you have to do is just sit back and watch. And to be honest with you, if you think somebody is lying to you and you don't even want to confront them, just allow them to be because their actions are going to reveal the truth. It, I'm telling you, it's going to happen. The actions are going to reveal the truth. We just have to sit back and observe. Just sit back and observe and just watch because a lot of people tell on themselves. They do. They run out of time. They run out of time and eventually they're like, they, their backup you know, is against the wall and they have no choice but to, con you know, to, to continue to lie and lie and lie and lie and lie. And then they're telling, they're telling one lie to cover up another story. Then they're telling another lie to cover up that story. And it just becomes back and forth. And eventually you start to pick up, hey, wait a minute. This person is, this person is completely lying to me. And that whole time, we were maybe neglecting our intuition or we weren't trusting how we felt. But if somebody is lying to you, man, you have to be able to trust your intuition. Sooner or later, they will expose themselves. Liars cannot live a life of a lie. It's impossible. Sooner or later, the truth will be exposed. They will because they're not being authentic. They're not being who they say they are. They're not telling the truth. Now, the people who lie about us, man, this is the greatest thing. I, I love it because when somebody lies about you, your life, what you're doing, the person you're becoming, transformations, whatever it may be, the things that you're into, allow that person to talk about you. Allow that person to lie about you. Allow that person to talk behind your back. Allow that person to do whatever they feel like they need to do in order to make themselves feel better. A lot of times when somebody lies about us, it is because they are not emotionally fulfilled inside. Therefore, they feel like they need to rip down somebody else's building just so they can stand on top of their own. But I'm here to say when that person does that, their building is not structured. If, it, if anything, it's built out of foam. Something that is just going to cave in eventually, you know? Like I said, you can be, you can either be, you can either be lied to or lied about. 
regardless of whatever side you're on, the truth is always going to be exposed because people cannot live a life of a lie. They can't. So meanwhile, while we're trying to get our point across or we're trying to get our feelings across or we're trying to have this other person know that, hey, stop doing this. That's, you can't be lying to me. Why are you lying to me? I, there's no reason to lie to me. Or why are you lying about that? There's, I, I'm not like that. What are you talking about? Whatever it may be, just allow it. Allow it because if you know you're living a truth, if you know you're being authentic, you're being yourself, you're being who you say you are, your actions are going to speak for it. What you do is going to speak for it. Your words are going to speak for it. So meanwhile, you can allow that person to talk behind your back, say whatever they want. Allow it. Allow it, man. Allow it. Because if, if you allow it, I'm telling you, the truth is going to be exposed. People are going to figure out why this person felt the need. And a lot of times it's because they are not emotionally fulfilled. They get, they get a set, they get a satisfaction. They get, uh, they get satisfied. There's euphoria that builds from within when they can go and lie about somebody else because they feel like that is the only way they can tear somebody else down. It is upsetting. It is disgusting. It is very hurtful. But at the same time, if you know that somebody is just lying on, on their name. Just allow it to be, man. Allow it. There's no reason to get upset. There's no reason to put all your energy into something that doesn't even, that's not even the truth, you know? Just think about it. Why are we going to feed into, into somebody's ego when they're continuing to lie about us or just lie to us? If somebody is lying to you and you know it, break away from that person. You don't need to give them any, you don't need to give them a reason at all. You don't need to give them an answer. You know, deep down what they are doing to you. So just allow them to be and walk away from them. If people are talking bad about you, allow them to talk bad about you, man. The truth will always come out. It's just a matter of time. We just need to be in the background. We just need to observe. We just need to view. We just need to hear. We just need to listen, listen, don't talk, listen, because the more you can listen, the more you're able to identify who this person really is. You can see their aura, you, how they're moving, their, their words. You can really start to pick up whether or not somebody is lying. We're all psychic. We all have these abilities to be able to read people, to see through people, to see through their soul. We all have it. It's just a matter of time. The way we can strengthen our intuition and our psychic abilities is tuning into how we feel about any scenario, about anything. If you feel like I, I'm not even going to go into it with all these examples, but I'm, I, I think you, I, I think you understand what I'm trying to say. If you feel like something is off, you have to obey it. You have to trust it. That is the only way we can start to really adapt to our psychic abilities. It's the only way I was ever, ever able to learn because I went down a path of trusting somebody and then three, four, five months later, that person completely did a 180 and showed me their true colors and it was not the person who I thought they were. They completely went against my back, shunned my name, did every single thing they could just to drag me down. But guess what? I didn't feed into it. I learned how to deal with that energy and really say, okay, while you're, while you're, too, while, you know, while you're focusing on me, I'm going to focus on myself as well. And instead of giving you the attention, instead of giving my energy into this scenario that's not even true, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in energy where, where I am truthful, where I can take this path of being honest. And the more that I began to focus on myself, that other person began to expose themselves even more and even more and even more and even more and even more. Sooner or later, I started to really understand why this person felt the need to lie. And it was because they were not emotionally fulfilled. They were living a life of a lie. They were hurt deep inside. And you know, I began to feel bad for this person, but over time I realized, man, people were taking advantage of me. People were just trying to talk bad about my name because I started to, to take on a role that maybe others didn't have the power, didn't have the strength, or didn't have the vulnerability to be able to adapt to. So eventually, man, it was just me just allowing people just to be, just allow people to be who they are. You don't need to expose them. You don't need to, you don't need to go against, you don't need to, you know, go in a battle with them. We don't need to drop down to their level. Allow them to be. It's, I, I understand it. We may get angry. We may be frustrated. We may get upset. We may get very angry where we just want to, I don't <laughs> strangle the person, whatever it may be, but you just have to allow it to be. We are all divinely guided. And if you're living a truth, you will be guide, guided into, you know, into a direction where the truth is exposed. Meanwhile, if we didn't tune into our intuition, one, we're constantly going to be lied to, lied about, 
And then our whole life is going to be so conflicted by so many stories, so many things we don't even know where to go, who to listen to, or what even is the truth anymore. We can't even understand if we're telling the truth or we're seeing the truth because our brain is so conflicted with all these other stories from this person. We, we, we can't learn to trust ourselves. We don't know how to trust. But the minute you can start trusting yourself, if, if you think somebody is lying to you, is the minute we can start to adapt, we can start to adapt to this intuition. We all have a, we, we, you know, we're all a human lie detector. It's just a matter of being able to tune in, you know? Um, liars expose themselves, man, they do. You don't need to do a single thing. Just continue to stay in your own lane. Stay on your own driven path. Stay on your own path, man. Stay in your own car. You don't need to, you don't need to, you don't need to overextend yourself just because somebody is trying to tell a lie. You don't need to go out there and try to, no, that's not true. That's not true. I, I never did that. Why? why, why that, that, no. Why? Why are you saying? You don't need to do any of that. Your actions will speak for you. Your lifestyle will speak for you. Your words will speak for you. What you do will speak for you. Sooner or later, the truth will be exposed. So do not give so much attention to the liars, to people who lie about you. And if you know somebody is lying to you, man, live by how you feel and honor it. Maybe take a step back. Maybe tune into why you feel like somebody is lying to you. Maybe build the strength to have a conversation with them, but you need to, you know, you really need to expect that person to not tell the truth because when somebody is lying, they're doing it for a reason. There is a reason behind why they feel like they need to lie. One is probably, you know, maybe they're living a life of a lie or they're just not emotionally fulfilled. Therefore, they feel like they need to, you know, to tear somebody else's building down just to be able to stand up on top of their own. That's their own satisfaction. It's crazy. It's manipulating. It's very, it's disgusting. It's evil. But evil doesn't survive. <laughs> it doesn't. I'm, I'm here to tell you, evil will not survive. At least it's running out of time. That's how I see things. So, you know, just try to retreat and keep that energy inside of you because when we get angry and we get upset, all that time we, sp we spend on, on this person or this liar, we could be putting in to our own path of truth of authenticity, of our own path, our own direction, and just allow things to play out. Allow the chessboard to be played. Allow people to play the game. Because if you are telling the truth, if you, if you, are, on, if you are being honest with who you are, I am telling you, the universe has your back. They have your back. They do. They do. All right. So I love you guys. Please, please, please conserve your energy. Do not give in to the liars. Who cares, man? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. I love you guys. Um, take care and peace and love.